Okay, YouTubers, uh, this is Joe from Artonian TV. Another quick game of Interplanetary Ice by going on here. We're looking at uh, Mars, but today we're looking at a Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter image, MRO image, from the high-rise high camera instrument. Uh, this takes great images. You're going to love this one. This is so cool. This is one of my favourite images so far from the high-rise camera. It's been taking some awesome stuff over the last few years and uh, the resolution is great, the, the colours are awesome, um, the detail's great, far better than when we ever look at Gale Crater for some reason, I uh, wonder why. Right, so here we have it. Now I'm not going to read all this out because you can read this yourself, but basically what we're looking at here is a bunch of sulphates and iron, uh, silica and other deposits in a, in a over a plateau. Um, where but there was water, so there would have been a lake here, or some kind of ocean or lake, and the, the plateau would have sort of been around the edge of it, okay? Uh, that's basically what, what it says here. And you've got all these different coloured deposits, a lot of them are due to uh, um, layers of basaltic materials, in other words, stuff that's been thrown up by volcanoes, so a lot of these deep blue colours we're going to see here, are down to volcanic activity, but there's also other different types of uh, sulfates and, and materials on the ground here as well, which are different colours. So we've got a, a real spectrum of colours and textures in here, but also something else. And uh, this, I was quite amazed when I looked at it. I thought, hang on a minute, this just doesn't doesn't look like a natural phenomena here. Okay, now bear in mind that this has probably had the colour enhanced already by NASA. Um, I don't know if it says it here. It may say that it's colour enhanced. Um, I'm not sure. It, I don't think it does actually. So the, whether these are natural colours and they've just been tweaked a little bit, I don't know. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with it here. And we have the, the main image here. Now what I've done is I've put some question marks next to the things that I think are worth looking at first, okay? And one of the first things I looked at was this gold thing at the top here, okay? So let's zoom into that. Now, I think this is a very large building. Why do I think that? Because it's not a natural shape. You can actually see, now I haven't done anything to this image other than add these question marks to it, okay? Um, and there we have it, we have a clear straight edge here, there's lots of rectangles and you have a, a symmetrical kind of shape here. Now this is quite bright. Whatever this is, it seems to be made of some kind of gold material. If it is a building, then it's gold. And there are other sort of what look like gold deposits in the area. There's some down here. But they're but they're they're more randomly shaped and they're on the sort of edge of this plateau and mountainous area here. And they look kind of normal, but there's another one down here that looks kind of squarish. It has a square corner to it here. And in fact, there are loads of symmetrical and rectilinear kind of symmet symmetrical kind of uh, lines and shapes in here. And basically, uh, that doesn't look natural either, although not as unnatural as this one at the top here, okay? There's also a very some very square things in here. You can see this square here. Doesn't look that clear, I know, not as clear as the other things, but there there are loads and loads of rectangles and square shapes and right angled corners all over the place here, okay? Uh, there's some more up here. There's a load of interesting details here where there, you've got lots of crisscross kind of lines. Now, I do appreciate that most of this is natural, okay? This These are sulfates and layers of sand that have drifted across this, what was probably a lake area here in the center and you have a crater here full of full of um, huge dunes here, okay? It all looks absolutely stunning. Uh, the colours are in, very intense. You've got some of these deep blues that you see in, in Gale Crater, in fact. Some of these really dark sands. And I think these are basically um, volcanic sands that have come up. And you see large areas of, of, of Mars which are blue, and often it looks like sea or water, until you get up close in the course and you can see that it's actually blue sand. Volcanic basaltic sand, okay? And it's a deep sort of grey blue colour, um, almost black in some areas, 
Um, but you've also got much lighter deposits, like uh, they have discovered opal on the surface recently. A lot of this may be opal. A lot of it may be salt deposits. Some of it may be calcium formed by millions of dead sea creatures, uh, some of this stuff. So this may well have been a, an inhabited lake in this area, which would have come up to these plateau edges here. And there's some, there's some more really straight lines and, and rectangles in here, if you can see them here. You've got a really straight line there, and you've got some really rectangular stuff going on here. Now, I appreciate most of this is natural, and you can tell the natural stuff because it's kind of rounded and randomly shaped like all this, okay? But this thing at the top, to me, looks like a massive golden building. I don't know what I'm going to call this, but if you look next to it, there's a, a really long straight line here, Long straight line here. There looks like some kind of complex here. There's loads and loads. Of, there's a sort of cross shape here. So I'm going to show you this close up. Here's a clip of it. And let's have a look at that. This is completely raw. I haven't done anything to the image. All I've done is take a clip. Okay. And here we have that, what looks like a gold mansion sized building. Now, the actual source image itself, I think, represents a couple of miles across. Um, it should say in the uh, blurb here, the view covers an area of 1.2 kilometers. Okay, 1.2 kilometers from one side to the other. Okay, so when you look at the raw, the uh, the main image, uh, like we have here, 1.2 kilometers. So this is a large building. It's not massive. It's not enormous, but it is very large. It's, it, I would say it's like a very large detached house sort of size. Uh, we could probably work this out. I haven't worked out exactly if that's one point. Uh, it's, it's not massive, but it's big. And there are lots of other strange structures nearby, okay? And I'll show you the clips again, um, because I've got them up here. And you can see, sorry, you can see that these are straight lines running right through this structure, okay? Let's move that out of the way. There's a, there's a close-up clip there. Now this hasn't been treated at all, okay? And to see it properly, you've really got to darken this down because this is so bright. You can also you can you can almost not really see the shape of it, but you can see this here. You can see these long straight parts, and there's kind of a squarish structure there. There's loads of crazy stuff in here, and I really do think this is a massive building, and it's it, it looks like it's made of gold or some similar highly reflective material. Now let's look at the enhancements because there's the other one. This is the other building, possible building, further down to the bottom right of the image, okay? And this doesn't really look much until you really darken it up and you can see that this is kind of squarish, okay? You can see that straight line here and you've got a straight line here and you've got details in there as well with a right angle here. It's not completely square but a lot of it is, and there's loads of square structures in here. Okay, now a lot of these may be dunes, and the resolution of the camera hasn't quite picked up enough of the detail. But if you look and really darken it, you can see lots of straight stuff here. Okay, and up here, you've got this here, and this here, and this here. There's loads and loads and loads of straight structures, and not all of them go up or down or left and right. A lot of them come in a diagonal sort of uh, angle as well. So they're not all necessarily down to pixelation. I do appreciate a lot of them maybe, but the larger structures are not, like these here. Okay, you can see these straight pieces to it, okay? You can actually see them quite well. Kind of darker there, okay? This looks like a town structure or, or separate buildings even, okay? So let's go back to the main one. The main one was this one. I'll show the enhancements on that quickly. Uh, we'll put clips of these all in at the end as well, so you can see these up close and really look at them properly. Okay, and they, they should show in slightly better resolution than this because it'll be in the proper HD, and uh, you'll have a bit longer to look at them. But this this is untreated. This is raw. Okay, and you can clearly see that straight line there, and you can clearly see that that is not just a rock, okay? Because there are loads of weird sort of layers around it, but there's also some very straight lines in here and then cross shapes up here, look, just here. 
I'm going to flip through the enhancements. You go in really dark. I've, I've really darkened that down there, just so it takes the brightness off that structure. You can see that's perfectly straight. And you've got rectangular internal structures, okay? That does not look like a normal outcropping on top of a plateau. And the way it's situated, if there was a lake here, this would have overlooked the lake. Um, so, you know, it, it would have been a nice place to live maybe one, once upon a time in the very distant past, overlooking a, a nice possible fresh water lake, who knows? Um, there we have it in negative, just to bring it home to you how straight that is there and there, okay? These are intelligent looking structures, okay? And there we have it, really dark. I've darkened the whole thing up so you can see the other stuff around it. Um, insane. I mean, look at this here. Look at this. You've got all these straight parts here. You've got these cross shapes up here. Okay. Very interesting. And the building itself has what looks like a part coming out here, like almost like a an outbuilding here with, with a very rectangular part to it here and here on two sides. And you've got these very straight parts here. So, I don't think all of this is down to, to pixelation. This is a high quality TIFF image it comes from. And these are not JPEG artifacts because it's not a JPEG. Uh, we all know that JPEGs can add squares to things and make things look squarer than they are. And digital cameras generally do that anyway. Um, so, I would tend to discount some of the smaller straight and, and rectangular parts like we have here. Because that's down to the resolution of the camera even though it's one of the most powerful telescopes ever built, especially, in, I think it's the second most powerful telescope ever put into space after the Hubble telescope. Um, and the camera is amazing on it. Um, you're still going to get, when you zoom right into an image, you're still going to get pixelation. But you don't get a lot here. It's a very high quality image. So I tend to discount the smaller details and look at the larger things like this here. This is big, okay? Um, I would say this is hundreds of feet across here, uh, at least a hundred. I haven't worked it out exactly. Um, I will put some um, estimations on the measurements in the description below, okay, once I've worked it out properly. But there we have it. Here's, a, here's the negative again. And some of these structures really show much clearer in the negative, like these long, long lines here and rectangles here. And you can see how straight that is. That is not what I would call a rocky outcrop that happens to be made of some kind of gold material. Okay, and you can see these square and rectangular structures up here and here. Okay, so clips will, will be coming up in a minute. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, there, there is also some other parts to this image, which I'll, I'll take some little clips of them as well and stick them in at the end of the video because there's a lot in here. There's a hell of a lot, and I really do recommend you download this image because you will probably find a lot more. I'm only concentrating on the larger stuff here for now because um, there's so much in here that you, you could look at this probably for an hour or two and find a lot more than I'm showing here today. But uh, in the interest of keeping this video a reasonable length, I can't really show you everything because there's just too much. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful image, one of the best I've seen. And uh, you can see the, the plateau coming around here and around here. So this would have been full of water at one stage. These lower parts, especially up here, much deeper again. Uh, part of an ocean or lake. Um, whether it's salt water or, or uh, fresh water, don't know. But very interesting either way. And these things do not look natural. This looks like a massive or large building made of gold or some similar material. Okay. Very awesome image. So, there we have it. If you haven't already, uh, if you're a new subscriber, do download my free app, which you get here. Download free app. You go to my channel and click on the little monkey face there, and it'll take you to my free app, and you can get it on Android or um, HTML5. You can have it on your desktop, like I use a lot, and you will get a lot of the links to, to find images like this. Okay, like these high-rise images. It will give you all the links you need to find stuff like this all the time. Um, but the link to this will be below in the description, so you can download it. I do recommend you have a look. It is a very, very cool image, this one. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.